what's up guys this is Lolit here bringing you a new video and um, this video I'll be showing you how to stop Dungeon Keeper 2 from crashing on Windows 8 and I'm assuming it's going to work on Windows 7, Vista and maybe even Windows XP as well since I hear everyone has issues playing this game on all those platforms and um, it took me ages like literally ages I was playing the game so long with it crashing before I found this fix so I thought I'd make a video on it to make it easier for you guys to fix this issue so you don't have to go through all the troubles I went through. So the main issue I was having, and I, just before I start this tutorial, I want you to bear in mind I'm playing the original Bullfrog version, not the GOG version. And um, this is the better version, I'm playing at version 1.51 I think, which has the best AI out of um, all the versions. So if I were you, I'd get, a di get the disc off eBay or try find a download online it's incredibly hard to find a download for the original the original non GOG version but I'll totally recommend you do it and this tutorial is for that version since I'm not sure whether this will stop crashing in 1.7 and above or 1.6 and above I think feel free to try it and let me know in the comment section and I'll add it into the description if it does work on the GOG version but anyway the main crash main issue I was having even was that this file here dkii.icd was crashing just randomly I don't know what caused it it would just randomly crash when I was playing the game so um, I looked online and apparently it's because the game is so old and games back then still had copyright protection it doesn't work very well on um, newer platforms newer operating systems so what you have to and um, I think this version was actually patched, so you don't have to use the CD. So um, I downloaded this, it's called Unsafe Disk. And I opened it, and I hit Decrypt Game, and it asks you to locate a file. I've got dkii.icd, you see I made a backup. Always make a backup. Please, no matter what you do, always make a backup of anything. So I made a backup of it, and decrypted the original one. and um, Actually, it stopped all my crashing. Like, there's a few other steps I did, and I'll put a link to the software in the description. But um, this actually stopped my .icd file from crashing. But what I do have to do now is every time I load up the game, I have to make sure the disk is in my laptop. Or if the, if you got an ISO, make sure the ISO is mounted. So um, now we've got that. I'll show you other things you have to do. So at the dkii.exe file, you right click that, go to properties, go to compatibility. So you've got a few options here ticked. First off, I'm playing it in um, compatibility mode for XP Service Pack 3. Um, I don't know why I picked that over Service Pack 2, but it works, so I'm not going to change it. I actually did try it with um, Windows 98 slash um, ME, and um, it just didn't work for me. I couldn't get the game to load up, so I got it at XP Service Pack 3. I'm running it at 640 by 480 resolution, which I know, I know, it sucks that you have to play it at such a low resolution. But here you really have to prioritize whether you want a working game or a nice looking game. You're obviously going to go for a working game. And I've also ticked disable display scaling on high DPI settings. Now for a lot of you, this is probably the end of it, it's probably going to work just fine. But if you're like me, who... Every time you do something, it just breaks something else, and it's incredibly frustrating. There's one more thing you need to do. And um, I'm hoping you'll be able to see what I'm doing on screen, because I know this recording software I have is a bit glitchy. But I'm going to try open Dungeon Keeper 2 and show you what you got to do on here. Now I'm hoping you can see what I can see right now on my screen. If you can see it, you'll notice that... Um, we have a lot of graphical glitching going on here at the main screen, like these flags, um, all the textures just seem to keep turning into black pixels and there's no really, no real reason why, and if I were to click something like single player game, go to skirmish, you see everything just starts glitching out, all the graphics just go horribly wrong, I'll go back and now the screen is like almost entirely black. And um, there's a very simple way to fix this, you go into options, and then you go into graphic options. Make sure you do not change the resolution from 640 by 480. Um, to be safe, I've actually unticked water transluency and environmental mapping, set gamma to just free, and I have shadow detail at high. And just untick hardware acceleration and then click 
and the tick here. Now for some reason, every time you start the game up, you have to untick hardware acceleration every single time. It's really frustrating. But now I've unticked that, and you see it's, it still looks messed up. But if you go into a game, so I just load up a random skirmish game, and just start playing that. You'll notice that once I get in the game, everything is perfectly fine, and I can play the game with no issues whatsoever, and the game will not crash. I mean, the game will not crash. I've played this with Ryan. I've had, like, um, extremely long play sessions. Like, really, really, really long play sessions. I think there was one time we were playing it for, like, three hours, and we didn't get any lag, we didn't get crashing at all. So... I really do hope this tutorial helps some of you guys because it took me so long to figure out how to do this and it was really frustrating. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and comment below if you want me to do a tutorial on anything else. You know, I'll do a tutorial on anything if you have, you're having troubles with something I'll look into it. So it's been Lollit here.